Hello, welcome to my newly reorganized and a little bit cleaner music room. Um, I wanted to take a couple minutes today to talk about social media for young musicians because this is a conversation I've had with a lot of my friends uh, in person over the last couple weeks and I have strong thoughts and feelings so I thought I would share that <clears throat> for any friends who are interested and also for any you know anyone else on the internet new friends who might be interested um, because I think that social media can be a really valuable tool for young musicians and or creatives of any type I guess but um, just for me that's where I'm coming from <clears throat> and I think um, it's underutilized by a lot of people I know and and I want I want to see my peers um, succeed and this is um, I guess I like social media and I have had positive experiences so I just want to share that um, opportunity I guess with people I know so anyway first question is why should I use social media and these are all just my thoughts and opinions I'm not an expert or anything but um, for me social media and Instagram in particular but YouTube as well, um, more and more recently, it's provided an opportunity for me to build my confidence. I think that in, in person and in Nashville, in my physical community, there have been a lot of times where I didn't feel confident or I didn't feel um, accepted or, you know, for whatever reason, I, I just wasn't feeling confident. And in, in those times, I have received encouragement and validation and um, just confidence through sharing my music on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook. Um, so that's been really valuable for me. Like even if I have a show and I, I don't know if people liked it or whatever, I still am in contact with people um, through social media who are really encouraging and kind. So it's helped me build my confidence. Um, I think the second reason it's a good tool is because you have an opportunity to build community and encourage other people. There are tons of other musicians out there in the world, in the world, and a lot of them probably don't have the same um, educational background or opportunities, or you know they're just building their craft. And a little bit of encouragement can go a long way. Um, yeah, so it's just a good opportunity to like share your skills and um, encourage other people. Um, and the third reason is that it, it can increase your work opportunities. I've definitely <clears throat> been connected to people through Instagram particularly, but also Facebook and YouTube. Um, been connected to people who wanted to hire me for remote work. Um, or want to set up shows when they come through town. So I think that um, it's such an easy way to connect with people who might want to work with you. Um, yeah, and you should get that work. You should be seen. So, you know, I, I would encourage people to put out, um, especially like videos of yourself playing, not just live videos from a show, uh, just because I think Sometimes the sound can be a little sketchy or just being so zoomed out is not quite as engaging for a, a potential listener or viewer. So um, that's why I like to do videos just from here in my music room. Um, it's a little more personal and easy to to get like what what your thing is, you know, when you're doing it in this kind of context. Okay, so then the second thing I wanna talk about is some of the reasons my friends give for why they might not use social media um, for their music yet. Um, and the first one is they're worried that it's not good enough. And I totally get that. But I think at a certain point, um, especially if you, if you are seeking to make music your income, you have to trust your skills. Like, you, your work is what you're selling, like my ability to show up and and do a good job on a gig, whether it's as me leading a band or it's me as a BGV, like 
I shouldn't be asking people to hire me if I don't trust my skills. And if I do trust my skills at a certain point, I just have to accept that even, even though we'll all have insecurities and, and feel um, self-conscious from time to time or all the time, but you, at a certain point, you just have to accept that you are good enough. And if you're getting paid to make music, like you're good enough. And you should still practice, you should still get better, but there's no reason to hide out and wait until you're the best. Because most of us will never be the best. But most of us are already good enough to do good work and to put ourselves out there and connect with other people. Um, and then the second reason people give why they might not be using social media, particularly like posting videos of themselves playing, um, maybe I'll look self-centered. And I, I also get that, but I just don't think that that's how people view it. Like social media is this place where you're able to share um, yourself, your life, your work, and no one's like, no one's forcing other people to watch that. Um, so if someone subscribes or to your YouTube or follows your Instagram, like they're choosing to be there. And we all understand, um, I don't know, I just don't think that, that it's self-centered to share your craft. And um, I know that's a really easy, like, um, negative voice in your head to listen to. Like, oh, people are going to think I'm self-centered. But I don't think people really think that. And if they do, that's like such a small minority of people and that's rooted in insecurity. So not to say that like that feeling is valid, but I don't think it's, um, I don't think it's real. I don't think that people are judging you as harshly as you might think. Um, okay. So then the third thing I wanted to share is, okay, so if you've decided that using social media for your music is a good idea, how? What do I do? Um, like I said, I think that videos can be really useful because that's allowing someone to see how you play or sing. Um, but also you don't wanna just like flood <laughs> um, or overdo it. So I try to post a video and then post a photo and break it up a little bit. Um, but I think, so the first thing I would say is just to be really genuine to yourself. So you don't have to copy someone else's style of sharing on social media. Um, so like if you are a really silly person in everyday life, like by all means show that on social media, like that's genuine to you. And I don't think there's, I mean, I know there's experts who are like, here's what you should do to grow your following. But overall, I think the, you know, what you put in your bio, the kinds of things you post, the captions, all of that, like just make it genuine to you. If you are really nerdy, show that, like do, do videos, like transcription videos. I have friends that do that. Um, you're not going to, to connect with people if you're not being yourself. And so be silly, be serious, be creative, be, you know, whatever you are in everyday life, let that show in how you present on social media. Um, and in most cases, I don't think that, I don't think people are necessarily going to Instagram and expecting you to be totally professional. That obviously depends on what your career path is, but I think there's a lot of room for showing your personality, basically. Um, use hashtags. I know a lot of people who are like, oh, that's, they think that feeds into the, like looking self-centered, but at this point, again, I just don't think anyone's judging you for using hashtags, and it does allow you to connect with people all over the world who might care about what you're doing. Like there are people out there who care what you're doing and they can't find you if you're not labeling your work or like, you know, helping them find it. So 
I really think that hashtags are a useful tool. That's a whole other area of like social media strategy, but use a couple hashtags that are relevant to what you're posting. Don't, I don't know, like make them relevant, make them specific, use a couple. Um, put your location, you can location tag posts on Instagram and now on YouTube as well, do that. That also helps people find you. There's no reason not to, use that tool. Um, speaking of location, I also think it's really important to have the city or cities where you live and work in your bio. It's really, I don't like going to someone's profile and then having to search through their posts to try and guess where they live. Like, if someone wants to hire you, I think that's really valuable information to have um, just in your bio, easy to find. Um, and then also just interact with people on social media platforms. If someone comments, like if they're taking the time, there are spammy commenters, so you don't have to waste your time there. But if someone's taking the time to listen to your music, definitely respond and engage with them. You can also search um, relevant hashtags and watch other people's videos and encourage them. And um, yeah, it's just a good way to connect with people. Um, another big thing, I see this on Instagram, but I'm sure it's on YouTube and other places. I, I, I already sound old. Um, it's on the YouTubes if you search for it, but um, challenges or like community hashtags are a really fun thing. So sometimes people will do like um, like a 30 day ukulele challenge with a theme and, and then everyone uses a hashtag to um, share like their videos for that hashtag. And that is a, a fantastic way to connect with new people. Um, and the way that you, well, the way that I find out about those is basically finding like who are the big accounts in the area that I'm interested in. Um, so I just search for like jazz vocalists or ukulele players who are like really popular on Instagram. And a lot of times they're the ones starting these challenges or promoting them. So if you come across things like that, I would definitely encourage you to participate and, and then go find other people's videos and give them some encouragement. Um, two more quick things. I read somewhere that um, your content on Instagram should either uh, entertain, educate, or emote. So content that provides entertainment, provides knowledge or teaches people how to do something, or something that um, expresses your feelings or inspires feelings in others, those are um, good topics for your content. Um, and then the, the last thing I would say uh, under the heading of like how to post on social media is just do it. Um, I feel pressure and I know other people do to have the best sound quality or the best video quality, professional lighting or whatever it is. Um, there are a million reasons to put off sharing your work online. You just have to ignore those, just do it. Like just do a little thing um, and put it out there and people are gonna like it and appreciate it. Um, and if you, if you hate it, there's, you can delete it, or there's an archive button on Instagram. So if you get that vulnerability hangover and you're like, oh, no, I'm too, it's too exposed, it's too nerve wracking, whatever, you can hide it, it you can undo it. Um, but don't, you don't have to have like a professional lighting setup and an amazing camera and all these things. Like at the end of the day, that's not what builds connection online. Um, you sharing yourself in a genuine way and interacting with others, that's what builds connections. And maybe down the line, you will have those, you know, really nice lighting or camera or whatever it is, or a better instrument even. But um, that shouldn't stop you. Like, yeah, just do it. Okay, I hope that's helpful. This is a very long video, so congratulations if you've stuck in there.